Just down the hill here is one of the most unusual discoveries of a Colombian mammoth ever unearthed. This mammoth died at over 9,000 feet above sea level, which is record high for the species, which is generally regarded as a plains animal. The age of the Huntington mammoth was roughly 65 years, based on comparisons of dental wear in modern elephants, and was one of the last Colombian mammoths to live in North America. The mud surrounding the mammoth was barely above freezing, acting as a refrigerator for almost 10,000 years. That's the dam right there for Huntington Reservoir. It was August of 1988. They were reconstructing the dam and dug up what was thought to be a log. It was actually one of the bones. This panel is part of a mural entitled Ice Age on display at the College of Eastern Utah Prehistoric Museum. This is how the area would have looked at the time the mammoth roamed here. It says no one knows why a grassland mammoth found its way up to the Pennington Canyon but with climatic warnings throughout the region. The Huntington Mammoth may have been driven to high altitudes in search of moderate temperatures. This canyon may have become an ecological refuge, remaining cool and habitable for the mammoth long after low elevations lost their lushness. lushness. The large bull Columbian mammoth discovered at this site was over 95% complete, all the way down to the small toe bones and the bones of the tail. The stomach contents were preserved, consisting of poor food such as fur needles. Just about 20 minutes away in Fairview, they have a replica of the mammoth. You can see that in the museum there. And down the road in the other direction in Price is where the actual mammoth is that they dug up here. I know of one other place in Utah where they dug up a mammoth. At least that one was just a skeleton, not the complete animal like this one. That was an orum. I'll link to that in the description. It's beautiful up here today. <laughs>